Okay, so the big question is how do we go about troubleshooting the camera that's not functioning? And uh, I feel it's a, it's a good thing to look at because hopefully we can all learn from this. And as you're building your own custom ROMs, you may run into problems similar to this where something is not functioning. And how do you actually go about troubleshooting that and figuring out what's wrong? Well, the first thing is we can refer to the video that we made at the beginning. We, we got that device info um, hardware really great app by the way um, I did a video just about using this app and uh, and I really recommend that you check that out on my channel uh, but so we know that uh, camera one is working camera one would be the selfie camera the second camera remember in Linux uh, zero is the first number and one would be the second number and so on and so forth so the second camera is working and we see this model number for that camera is five megapixel selfie camera that part is functioning just fine so we don't really have to worry about that too much but what we do have to worry about is camera zero and we have this Omnivision camera in here and it's an OV 13850 uh, underscore L 5261 and it's a 13 megapixel camera now what's interesting is uh, at least as far as I can tell these Omnivision cameras it's OV and then it's pretty much the number of megapixel is the is the next thing you see so for instance OV uh, 5648 is a 5 you know megapixel camera because it starts with 5 um, you know so whatever thousands it is that's pretty much what megapixel it is when it comes to omnivision cameras which is pretty handy and very helpful uh, thing to look at now in here notice it says what's supported 13850 or 13850 underscore L5261 are both support, supported options in this camera so that gives us an idea of what we're looking for and so the first thing that we can do is we can go and look in our vendor trees and say hey do we have you know a 13 50 and so like one thing you do you could search and it's a camera so we could go libchromatics uh, underscore and we can do 13 uh, or we could do maybe uh, OV underscore let's see OV 13 there we go OV 13850 so we see uh, right there the OV 13850 is already in our list of files so that's not really a problem Although, uh, you know, we could definitely replace these with other ones to make sure this is proper. But uh, but definitely gives us a good good place to start. Oh, I didn't want to close that. Okay, there we go. So uh, the next thing that we can look at is our logs. So we have our um, boot logs, and as it's going through, uh, this is really handy. It says opening camera zero right here. So, you know, if you're looking for something specific, you can always just search for that. Um, I searched for camera 2 and got to here, but you could have said opening camera 0. That would have got you here as well. Just a couple things that you could look at. And we see lots of information, and then we see errors and debugging information. Errors, debugging information. So, of course, I pulled this with the ADB Logcat, and I do have videos on that if you need some help on how to do that. But let's take a look here at this very briefly and see what we can, uh, what we can see. Um, it's it has a problem opening it right off the bat that's an error saying hey I'm trying to open this and it's not working out um, it goes through and starts trying to figure out how to get this thing open and there's a lot of ghibli gook and, and stuff in here that I can't really fully understand um, because I'm not a camera expert but we do get down to this line right here and we see uh, DL open failed so tuning library open failed and it needs this lib mm camera underscore tuning dot so this this is not found and because of that it it seems to have a lot of problems now with this it also seems to have some sort of problem with the flash uh, which is something I did not test was if I could even turn on the the uh, flashlight for the phone um, so definitely something to check out there so what I'd like to do is uh, try to fix the glaringly obvious problem of adding this libmmcameratuning.so 
and the best place to get this would be from the stock ROM. Um, but another thing that you could do if you're looking for something and you don't know where to get it from, you could get that camera information from a different proprietary vendor file that's along the same lines. In this case, we have the U Eureka, which is a very similar phone as well. And if we look uh, look in there, we actually were able to find that it did, or I'm sorry, the U Yalabi, which is the U Unique which is a very similar phone uh, and it did have a uh, lib camera tuning dot so so I could steal it from there as well so I'm gonna try to add that to the build and see if that makes any difference uh, not necessarily that it will but uh, hopefully that'll give us some more information to go on so pretty much the the general idea is take a look at the logs make sure you have the right vendor files for whatever you're trying to run and uh, if there's anything that says is missing or cannot be found uh, why don't you go ahead and put that in and see if that works any better and uh, you know sort of a little bit of a trial and error here uh, but just trying to figure out what could possibly be wrong alright so after uh, building that and flashing it to the phone uh, went ahead and tried to open up the camera and once again uh, we find under the camera opening camera zero that uh, there was a problem another f missing uh, library is um, lib mm camera easy tune module dot so so uh, sometimes you run into this where you're like okay you added the one thing that it wanted and now it wants something else and now that you add that and it's gonna want something else and you can kinda actually get on a little bit of a hamster wheel with this but it is a process and you go through and you figure out what's missing you keep adding that until it stops saying that something is missing and hopefully then you can uh, you can have some functionality so I'm just gonna go ahead and keep uh, adding these if uh, if I can and see what uh, what we end up with and while that builds I wanted to take a moment to point out when I say add it to the build how am I doing that so I went to the life XL vendor blobs dot make file and uh, so after finding wherever the file was whether it's from the stock ROM or some other ROM uh, make sure you put it in the exact right place if it's in vendor lib put it in vendor lib don't put it in lib if it's in lib don't put it in vendor lib put it in lib put it exactly where it goes and then you um, can just copy a line from here and paste it and then uh, put in what you are putting in making sure to edit it to be the exact right location so the lib mm camera tuning dot so was in lib and then the lib mm camera easy tune module dot so it was in vendor lib so you gotta make sure you put it in the right place for where it goes and uh, so that's how I'm adding it to a build another option for you is if you wanted to save time you could actually directly copy these to the phone and reboot the phone and then they'll pick up instead of having to reflash and rebuild and all this sort of thing uh, it's it's really just a matter of preference the big thing is after you do that uh, on the phone you're still gonna have to go through and put it all into your build so you'll need to take very accurate notes to make sure you get all the right stuff to put in the right place so we'll uh, we'll see how that builds and what happens okay and once again after building we see uh, opening camera zero we see some errors going on and it's saying hey this uh, PB base module dot so is not found so it needs another another thing as well so I'm gonna go ahead and keep chasing this rabbit trail and keep adding these in and see what we get but I wanted to show you a few other things as well I had talked about um, some other places you could look for some information and uh, one of the big places you can look is in your device tree under camera um, you often have uh, like camera parameters and this uh, init file and if you go through here you'll see uh, you know some different uh, camera options a lot of which may not really make a whole lot of sense but as you scroll down through here uh, these are like what options are available for the camera what things it can ask for and so if you get some kind of error like it asked for something and it didn't work properly this would be the kind of place that you would look um, also camera parameters where you look through the different parameters you know face detection um, eye you know um, 
red eye reduction and things like that so if it asks specific to that then this might be a file that you would look into something where you know uh, a camera parameter the camera is loading but then it tries to do something and fails to do that this might be a place to look there and um, further uh, is if you go into your configs you'll see media profiles and in here you'll cover things like for the camera for what um, resolutions are supported so if the camera opens but then it's something some kind of error about the resolution or something like that this would be a place that you might want to look to see oh you know what that uh, resolution is too high or too low for this particular camera another option might uh, you might look at this file if it says something wrong with the codex and it's like oh um, you know let's say 3GP is not supported like you didn't have that codec built into your ROM and so now this resolution is going to cause a problem if it tries to do that uh, so that's just an example that probably won't be an issue you'll have but just something to consider and typically this is separated into uh, two parts um, one for each camera and it looks kind of like the same list twice notice this is for the back camera uh, camera ID of zero and then we find um, front camera right here the same list sort of starts over but uh, the front camera which is the selfie camera um, has a typically a, a shorter uh, list where it doesn't support quite as uh, nice uh, set of uh, options but you know that will depend on your camera it may even give higher options available but then that uh, you know they won't really be usable um, you know for instance, uh, the selfie camera cannot do 1080p, but you know that's uh, that's in here as an option, um, and that won't won't be one that actually gets listed. Now there are some notes in here of some things that may not get listed because of different uh, variations and things like that. Um, but it's just used of of to declare the multimedia profiles and capabilities on an Android powered device so then you may need to cut down on some of these if they're too high or too low or if you have some error where it's saying this resolution doesn't work and it, especially if you um, build your ROM and the camera is working but then you open an application like let's say uh, Facebook or you know uh, twitch or something like that and it tries to pull up it reads through this file and says oh you can support this resolution I'm gonna do that and it tries to do that and doesn't work you can actually cut that resolution out by taking it out of this file so that way it won't ask for that resolution anymore because it won't be reported as a valid resolution to use so just something to keep in mind uh, that this might also be a place that you could look I'm gonna keep chasing some things down um, I think that's probably all I'll put into this video for today, but just uh, you know, just wanted to show a couple things that you could do to try troubleshooting a little bit. Um, you can definitely also look through the other, you know, errors and see, you know, maybe if you can glean something from there. Look at uh, D message, K message, and try to get to the bottom of some of these as well. So I uh, just wanted to uh, hopefully point you in the right direction if you're trying to fix a camera issue. Um, on a ROM that you've built.